Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise in which for the first part, anyway, we try to prove that 1 over 1 minus sin x minus 1 over 1 plus sin x is equal to 2 times x sec x. And for part B, it says an acute angle x is such that x, sorry, such that x sin x is equal to p, uh, given that um, sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x cos x, find an expression uh, in terms of p for cosec 2x. Okay, now for the for part A, uh, what comes to mind here is difference of two squares because if you remember a minus b into uh, a plus b uh, a plus b excuse me writing a plus b is equal to a squared um, minus b squared okay right now in this case our a is 1 and our b is sine x there okay so, now, for part A, we don't have this here. That 1 over 1 minus sin x minus 1 over 1 plus sin x. Now, the, com the common denominator for 1 minus sin x and 1 plus sin x would be 1 minus sin x multiplied by 1 plus sin x, a minus b into a plus b. That gives us a squared minus b squared, 1 squared minus sin squared x there. Okay? So, and the, 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 the denominator we reduce to 1 plus sine x minus into 1 minus sine x, that becomes 2 sine x, divided by 1 squared minus sine squared x. Now, the 1 squared minus sine squared x then becomes cos squared x, because cos squared x plus sine squared x is 1. So 1 squared minus sine squared x will give us cos squared x. So we then have that 2 sine x over cos squared x. So the cos squared x we then break up into cos x and cos x. Now this two remains where it is, so that to the constant there. And this bit here, uh, the sine x divided by cos x will give us tan x. And 1 divided by cos x becomes sec x. So and that's what is supposed to prove that um, all, that, all of that would become 2 times x, cos, so 2 times x sec x. Now, for part b, now, we are told that, well, we know that sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos x, and we are told that sine x is equal to p. So what, what we need to do is to make sure, or to make sure that, that all of that can be expressed in terms of sine x. And what comes to mind again is that cos squared x plus sin squared x is 1. So we now try to reduce cos x uh, or replace cos x with something with uh, sin x. So now uh, that bit then becomes uh, 2 sin x multiplied by the square root of 1 minus sin squared x because this then becomes our cos x there. Okay, that becomes our cos x. Right, now. For the next slide, oops, sorry. Um, so that, sorry, now. now we know that sine x is equal to p. So that becomes p there, and that becomes p squared. So sine 2x becomes 2p multiplied by the square root of 1 minus p squared from there. And we know that uh, the reciprocal of sine x is the same as cosec x. So if we then take if we then take the reciprocal of that, we must also take the reciprocal of that one as well. So we then have that one over sine two x is equal to cosec two x, and that's same as one over two p divided by um, sorry one over two p multiplied by one minus p squared. And I do hope all that made some sense and. Please subscribe and watch some more videos as well. Thank you for watching and bye-bye uh, now. Bye-bye.